And Maybe. here we go. Can we get a big old honk and hallelujah? I do not think so, sir. We're we're all out of hallelujahs here at well, the door table. Just give me a honk then and a howdy. <laughs> Yeah, everybody the, to the bots and bodies. This is still Flash at the dork table. Honk, honk. This is Vinny. At the dork table. Yeah. Hey, dork. Grim. Managed to make it again. Look at this. I keep making it on the on the uh, RLM without help. You're amazing. I know, huh? I'm okay. gonna start a. I'm gonna start a university. Call it Dork U. I want to start a universe. So, can you hear us now there, Grimner? Can you hear me? Can hey, you hear me? We got Beatles Grimner. saying stuff. What? You want to say hi to the bots and bodies, Flash? Let me, me ask oh, Grimner okay. to catch up here as this goes downstream. Oh. Come in and, and poke around in my pooter and see oh. if you can find one. I can't hear so well. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, the bots and bodies in the uh, RLM chat today are as follows there'll be a lineup after the show if anything's missing uh we got barman beetle for, wait did i start at the top yeah i sure did frump grimner moose girl uh brackets dc anti chalcedony Graham Z, I B Don C, java doctor two meister brow ponder gander miss kate Rob Works, trust no one. Vanna White, Vinny Delicious, De, Vinny Diculous. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm what, I'm yeah. Like, weirdo. It's a good word, it out. I had a hard time reading it, your made up words. <laughs> Weather, Ridiculous. Let me finish. Yeah, you weirdo. Go ahead. Weather Dork, The Phantom, and well then, Asmo 2, me, Frumpy. Gromit, Jays, Nines, Jays, Kiss, Kiss underscore, mm, smart ass, and what? And that's that's the lineup for people to pick on in the RLM. I could not get closer to the mic. I can only bring the close the mic closer. Well, to I me. I told you earlier. I, I hear you fine, so I don't know what you're complaining about, you big baby. No, Beetle. Oh, so, Beetle. What Beetle's complaining at you? No, he was trying to help. It is open uh, now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Equal out that sound. Vinny needs to get closer to his mic. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, your, your uh, any desk isn't open there, genius. It is now. It is now, yeah. sir. <laughs> what, a, what a group we are, I swear. So, welcome to the dork table at on the uh, 29th. June 2019. Uh, have you invaded Iran yet there, Vinny? Ow. Uh, no, but I, I walked. Do you want to? No, I want to walk. You want to walk? I used to crawl, yes. To One Iran? Day I will, ah. I say Iran, but today I was that like, was, I, I walked. That was very weak. Boo. Thank you. Boo hoo hoo. Anyway. Uh, you're not yes, enamored dude. by the, the great orange head? I think that's working, Grimner. Ugh. Ooh. Yeah. Beetle says you seem faint. Mm. And Frump. I don't feel very well either. Frump says you should have peed before the show instead of during it. <laughs> yeah, Let's go just a I little bit hard, really. Let's go just a little anyway. bit more. Wow. All this. Ooh, that's good. Look at there. Look at there. Works. All this my, fine my. tuning. Thank you, Grimner. Well, I'm, I'm uh, disconnected to get you. And I found a link that I think will. Dazzle your insides. Do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it on the reallibertymedia.com chat right about now. And I also read that in Alaska, the governor just granted the people or whatever ten million dollars for more law enforcement in the rural communities. See, and, this yeah. is where I will say that less is more. Thank you. I realize that. I'm I'm with you on that one. We we agree about that. Small, oh yeah. But on the other hand, I find this little gem that I just posted in the reallibertymedia.com. Do you want to open it and read, or do you want me? Yes. Go ahead and read. Uh, I can. I can possibly do that. You because you did all that shit with your 
having Grim fix your voice and uh, uh, wait. Yeah, I can hear you much better. Of this is from it's the Free Thought Project. And the title of this thing he here is Reports Show US Police Having Trouble Hiring More Cops. A sign we need a major change. You know, you can make a lot of uh, names out of major. And <laughs> okay. You and your right. names. Hey, I was vaping a while ago. But, oh. Focus. Focus. I, yeah, I saw a squirrel and I pushed a button and everything went away. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, let's try. News reports from across the country show that police departments are unable to keep their numbers up as fewer people are applying to be cops. There is a police recruitment crisis in America. But this should not surprise anyone and can serve as a major opportunity if we seize it. According to Bethesda Magazine, numbers in Montgomery County, Maryland show police recruitment has dropped by nearly half in just the last few years. Instead of looking both inward and outward, officials are simply blaming it on an increased police scrutiny on just plain altogether increase police scrutiny i'm uh as long as you're working for the government though i i think uh we can just say it's okay and accept it i think they were you... talking about scrutiny from the police at the police oh really that's, that's getting the, well it's getting that's better what, huh yeah that's yeah they're misrepresenting the whole thing by using it in that light i didn't All read right, it the well, way you read it i read it like that like hey all right. Good. More because they're so they're so tough on the police within the police that people don't even want to apply because it's so hard to get in. That's what they're inferring. Okay. That's well, the way see, I, took I got it. Yeah. I got uh, cousins that are cops that, uh, here in Arkansas and then also out in Vegas. There's a uh, good son. I, I noticed with my cousin, he's a detective out there. I've noticed. You see, he uh, in Vegas, cops that their money's no good. But he refuses. He would, he would never take anything free, like concert tickets. And, you know, you go to get coffee and your coffee's free and all, you know, donuts. You know how all that works, right, for cops. I mean, it's part of that uh, culture that's that's been extended for a long time. But So things are changing, right? I don't know. Are they? To, to break those barriers and at least blur the line, right? Mm. So that's anyway. So I, I'll keep reading here a little bit, man. Uh when I you thought you'd like job, it. Yeah. When you do a job that's being highly criticized on a daily basis, we have to ask ourselves, how did we find good candidates that really want to be under that type of scrutiny? Said acting police chief <laughs> Marcus Jones. If you, if you feel like you're being scrutinized all the time, then this may not be the career that you want. So we understand that you may not, that <laughs> we understand that that may be a roadblock for us, but Police and all government, for that matter, must be scrutinized as they hold power over people. And unchecked power turns into tyranny every single time. It's just not Maryland either. According to a report from the U.S. Department of Justice throughout the United States, the number of full-time sworn officers per 1,000 residents decreased from 2.42 in 1997 to 2.17. I mean, like that's not a whole lot, is it? or maybe so many numbers, I guess it is, in 2016, down 11%. Hey, that's all God and government used to ask of you was 10%. So 1%, come on, let's not complain. The 2016 rate of full-time sworn officers per 1,000 residents was also lower than the rates in 2000, down 7%. 2003, down 8%. In 2007, down 7%. As a... As Reason Magazine recently pointed out nationally 66% of police departments report seeing declining numbers of applications, according to a survey of 400 law enforcement agencies by the Police Executive Research Forum. Perf. <laughs> Perf. P E R F. <laughs> Gotta love anagrams. The number, the number is down despite many police officers' salaries skyrocketing. The average cop makes sixty-four thousand dollars annually. With some cops oh, taking the, taking the kickbacks and stuff, much much more. Oh wait, didn't say that. I was, I was starting to read between the lines. I thought that, no, that's probably not true, right? Like, nah, come on. So sixty-four thousand dollars annually, 
with some cops raking in over a quarter million uh, each year. Wow, that's a lot. 250 grand. Would you kill somebody for $250,000 a I don't, year? I don't know. Would you do? Would you kill one person for 250000 Are Are they my friend? Well. If they're my I friend, mean, I'd probably have a little trouble doing it. <laughs> no, well, okay. No, That's Vinny. Probably, probably Vinny. good to know. <laughs> Vinny. <Probably> good to <laughs> I, I, would, I would not do it. Yeah. No. I, I, but I'm still not going down in your basement. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> while, while some Americans may see this decline as a negative situation, it's important to examine the possible reason for it and understand that this, is, this isn't necessarily a bad thing and can be a really good thing. Whee, I'm having fun already. The American policing, uh, policing policy, po is this policy or police? I think it's the same thing profession may be facing that most fundamental question of its legitimacy in decades, said Chuck Wexler, executive director of the Police Executive Research Forum, PERF, in 2017, organizational newsletter. Uh, yeah, there's a click on thing right there. So the very essence of policing is being debated in many cities, often because of controversial video recordings of police officers' actions Community trust has eroded, and the professionalism of the police is being questioned. The questioning is necessary, this scrutiny is deserved, and this decline in police officers is a sign that things need to change. There is no doubt that being a police, what, let me stop right, yeah, you know, because how many people become a cop to bully people? I mean, this is common knowledge, or is it, is it a mass characterization, st uh, stereotyping? Is it changing? I think it is. Uh, I was talking last night uh, how this this world is a lot different than it used to be. There's uh, we are we are heading in the right direction, and that's why the uh, uh, the efforts against us, if I can be ambiguous, is uh, stepped up. You know, mm. more fluoride and uh, more all the other good stuff that they give us and what we eat and drink. Right. Right. Because even cops are waking up, right? They're saying, look, man, you ain't going to come in here and be a bully and, and, and come in here and do this kind of stuff. There's oh. there's good people that are cops. You know, I would think that more cops would become would have became cops because they have a this civic duty, a sense of civic duty, and, and want to help. Right. But then they get caught up by just doing my job, following the rules, right? But yeah. doing your job, as Al said, that, you know, there's a duty – so like the senators in Oregon that left, uh, you know, uh, prevented ha them having a quorum to pass that cap and trade. That, that is duty. So cops have a duty, I, I would say a higher duty, to enforce or um, extricate the bad apples, the bad seeds in there. Put them in prison, you know. Just because you've got a badge, don't give you any extra privilege, does it? I knew you were going to like this one. Mm -hmm. Let's see where I left off at. You just kind of uh, cut off in the middle of after the very essence of policing somewhere in there. And then you just kind yeah, of. Yeah, where things off. need to change is where I left off. There is no doubt that being a police officer can be a grueling, dangerous, and oftentimes extremely unrewarding job. But much of this stress is due to a failed job description. I'm a policeman. I, I got a, I got I got a cop badge right there on one of my things from Easley, South Carolina Police, and I was an unofficial sheriff of Riverside, Nevada. <laughs> what do you think about that? Huh? Huh? Whoa, huh? I'm huh? I'm impressed. Don't under arrest me, Mister Bad Guy. <laughs> well, while many cops out there have saved lives and have been recognized for their heroism, others who are just doing all oh, there it is, just doing their jobs have continued to drive a wedge between the police and the police. Police. Uh, enforcing laws for victimless crimes, extorting people over arbitrary traffic laws like seat belts and window tent, and kidnapping. At, this sounds like I wrote this. And kidnapping and caging people for a marriage you want does not make you a hero. No, sir. And I'm going to call you out every time. It's my duty. That's right. It makes you a tool. You know what a tool is? Somebody do an OOD in the chat for tool. 
makes you a tool for the prison industrial complex and the police state. We're taking a quick scroll down Facebook posts, uh, websites, and Twitter feeds on any number of subjects. It's easier to find a negative comment about police officers. Despite police unions and police apologists claiming these negative comments and criticism, criticisms are coming from criminals and thugs, uh, that, that the reality is much different. Of course, murderers, rapists, and thieves hate cops. But these are not the people openly criticizing police. The criticism comes from mothers and fathers who've watched their children get harassed constantly because of the neighborhoods they live in and the color of their skin. White privilege, it goes a long way, I'm here to tell you. Now, the criticism comes from the millions of people who have family members whose lives have been ruined because police caught them with a plant. This criticism comes from the millions of other people have, who have to decide between paying their electric bill or paying their $300 seatbelt ticket. Mm. Many police departments even take uh, to social media about bra uh, media to brag about enforcing these laws in which there is no victim. Why? Exactly. These departments brag on Facebook about such a waste of taxpayer money and oppression of the poor is a mystery. Why they do it is a mystery. But they do it a lot. And we the people are becoming tired of it. Rape kits collect dust on shelves in police departments nationwide while weed busts continue to soar despite growing legality. Billions are collected in traffic fines annually while murders remain, murders remain uninvestigated. Priorities are in disarray. As TFTP has reported, when cops stop going after people for possessions, possessing substance, uh, substances, like, I got my hand right now. Despite, oh, wait, yeah, deemed illegal by the state, it is wrong. No real crimes are actually solved. Would, would they solve crime? Would they? No. They got people that are supposed to be doing that. No. That's instead a, of creating crime. Yeah. There's a, that's you know my, a bunch of bullshit. You know my experience in the higher-up Leos up there, like the, what the FBI does? Mm -hmm. They actually go... And bring people together and give them things and encourage them. Instruction. Right. Yes, thank yeah. you. And encouragement. And they actually create create crime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And and if you can get a couple of people talking about some stuff, you know what that is? Conspiracy. Yes, sir. Conspiracy. It is uh, a con. That con is I right. call it conspiracy, but it's a perfect uh, way to it's say that. Like con a piracy. Kind of like a piracy thing going on. And it's a con. It's just, Law enforcement is full of shit. Yes, sir. You're right. Mm. Well, in fact, a study out of Boston showed exactly that. A study indicated that the Boston Police Department has drastically increased the number of homicides uh, they saw since they stopped making arrests for marijuana. And I wish you'd call it cannabis, by the way. Uh, the homicide clearance rate increased by 10% following the decriminalization of marijuana in the area. The BPD homicide unit increased the yearly Boston homicide clearance rate at nearly 10% and by more than 18% when the clearance uh, rate definition was extended to include those cases awaiting grand jury decisions, the study said. Civil asset forfeiture pays busting low-level drug dealers by the dozen and confiscating their drugs, guns, cars, houses, and money pays. Writing tickets for victim, victimless crimes, pulling your uh, over for wind tent, seat belts, arbitrary traveling speed, and expired license plates. These are the things that pay. Solving murder does not pay. Hmm. This is why, this is where this sol uh, the thing uh, comes from, the saying, crime doesn't pay. <laughs> it depends on what side of the gun you're on. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> However, as the drug war toned down slightly with the decriminalization of cannabis, police are miraculously able to funnel more. Miraculous. It's a miracle. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and are able to funnel more resources and dedicate more officers towards solving murders. This is common sense. Durr. Durr. Okay, George. Okay, uh, George. In the United States. United States. Where did he go? To yeah, the left. Yeah. 
Uh, pointing both ways. That's how you solve <laughs> murders, mister. <laughs> Point <laughs> fingers at everybody but yourself and all different things. 420, 420, 420. 420, 420. Thank you, sir. That's right. Today's uh, adjudication is brought to you by the Bugs Beaver and the 420 report about cannabis, not marijuana. You now, gotta be racist. Con- continue with your epic saga about police. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> well, here's some uh, here's some very interesting uh, information. Hmm. Did you know in the United States the murder clearance rate in 1965 was more than 90 percent? Since the inception of the war on drugs, the murder clearance rate has plummeted to an average of less than 65 percent a year. This decline is in spite of there being uh, far fewer murders. And it, uh, it is also in spite of new te- uh, technological developments to help police solve crimes like DNA testing, advanced forensic labs, and unethical spying devices like Stingray. Hey, that would, uh, that'd be a cool superhero name, huh? Stingray. Stingray? No. My middle name's Ray. Well, then that's so, okay. That, your superhero that. name is Stingray, Vinny. Fine. No, that's, that's got to be, shh, tell nobody. <laughs> I'm telling you're everybody. Bo- you're <laughs> on my cover, man. <laughs> have, there it could. I'm going to got to talk about it every show. <laughs> Stingray. Now, despite the near co- uh, complete erosion of the con- constitutional, oh, I've got something to go with this too, from a, uh, uh yeah, near, let me try this. Start again. Despite the near complete erosion of the constitutional protections against unlawful search and seizure, the clearance rate for murder continued as free fall. This, uh, this highlights the fact that no matter how many rights are given up or freedoms diminished, police cannot guarantee your safety. All of this is due to the war on drugs and revenue collection for victimless crimes. The decline in police recruitment should come as no surprise. It seems like this is being read they've said that's the second time i think they've re, uh, stated themselves the okay, decline well. of police re- recruitment should come as no surprise as law enforcement in this country has been at a crossroads for some time revise 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 this is going to be a lesson for who wrote this uh, for me uh, while some heroic officers are taking a stand and calling for an end of the war on drugs and revolu- revenue collections others are hell bent on maintaining the revenue system or revenue stream, job security, and budgets for militarization that this war brings. Equally as egregious is the fact that the enforcement of victimless crimes endangers the lives of cops uh, as well, and their own superiors don't seem to care. It's because they're dumb brutes. That's what they've been wanting to bring in, you know, low IQ dumb brutes. Hmm. Now, I want to tell you, I've seen these people this type you know, the, the Neanderthal look, the big heavy brows and the sloping forehead, the FBI undercover guy on Bruce Doucette, a major, major, the, uh, yeah, that guy. Okay, you're almost sure. done. Oh, I, well, I, well, got sure. a, I got another link for you after you're done with this one. Well, quit picking on me, man. Nah, before you go on, I got two links for you to read. And you're okay. almost done with this one, so keep going there, Spark. Wait a minute. I'm three minutes late here. Hold on. Uh-oh. This needs to light up. Get yes, some brain cells cooking. What? Ooh, that's good stuff. Yeah, but see, I figured this link would be right where you want it to go. Yes, it is. But the next one, wow. the next one is just me having fun. But you're gonna, you, you get to read it. Well, I'll go here. There, are overwhelming majority of violent, uh, violent police interactions stem from the enforcement of the war on drugs. This is a huge problem, and countless experts in the field already have the solution in the drug war (laughs) sadly however except for a few departments across the country most police will not even consider the notion the fact is the drug war is dangerous not only for the people being accused of having (laughs) drugs by police but as multiple deadly drug war incidents illustrate it is incredibly dangerous for police officers too despite police officers being killed at a historically low rate Enforcing a war on substances pushes the state, uh, pushes the sale of these substances into the criminal realm, which I'm going to call free market. Actually, uh, that's just called black market. Yeah, but black market. It does get convoluted, though, also because of this. This is absolutely a true statement uh, on the, the uh, pushing the sales of these substances into the criminal realm. See, that's 
there's a difference there between free market and criminal realm. Yeah. There would be not the criminal realm would not be there if they hadn't not. made a crime out of the the plant which didn't yeah. belong. In, yeah, it was a bunch of crap yeah. from the start. So this makes it dangerous for everyone. We can look at the uh, prohibition of alcohol and the, a subsequent mafia crime wave that ensued as a result, as an example. Uh, this, the year 1930, at the peak of prohibition, happened to be the deadliest year for police in American history. 300 police officers were killed, enforcing a war on booze, and innumerable poor people slaughtered as the state cracked down on drinkers. When the police became tired of the suffering and death created by the wars on booze, they decided to end it, not double down. This is what needs to happen now. The decline of people wanting to become cops is a sign that things need to change. This sign can be taken as an opportunity for Americans to move forward and foster a more free society, or it can be squashed and covered in excuses by, by playing victim. The choice is ours. Well, you had a lot of fun reading that there, mister. Ooh. Yeah, yeah I'm a, I, there's a like button right there for facebook i'll click it it didn't cost me nothing boom boom mm. look at that and that's actually a like like now i've got to uh clarify a little something i need to actually add this on my twitter uh, uh hearts and rts are uh let's see how i've decided to, it, it is a matter of recognition or acknowledging uh seeing it and uh, conveying information. So, yeah, it's something like that. I got to work that out. But I'm going to put that on there because a lot of people don't know it. You know, like I've actually had people say, you know, you're liking that stuff. Well, so what? Uh, I don't have to uh, uh, necessarily agree with something to uh. say, yeah, I like that. I like that you're presenting this information. It gives me, you know, an opportunity to look at it. And, my, and by me clicking that heart thing, hmm. it, it gives you acknowledgement that I've, uh, seen it right okay some matter of uh communication so ah i, I guess that what I you call clarify. that communication no. on twitter i call it i call it our on, on twitter you you call that communicating sometimes good luck okay i got another good link for you to read mr reedy guy <laughs> you gotta let you gotta let me catch up no, up my uh, put it in the water and smoke you stuff. you do that but you you're gonna have to read but i thought you'd like that last link <clears throat> You know why? It was pretty good. But yeah, why? because it sounded like you wrote it. <laughs> it almost did, huh? Yeah, it's, it's it it's was like the R writer. It, well, it's it was like the RLM story, you know, about how we see the cops. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't no. go say howdy over here to, to the other folks. Hmm. What uh, other folks? Uh, Where are you? Any other place that you're not at, Mister? But you're oh wife that is, and place. You're not yeah. invited, good sir. Oh, that's okay. I I don't hang out with whiners by choice. I, I get kidnapped to that shit. Shut up. <laughs> Shut, Shut your, your mouth, big Mister. Pussy. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna I can go hide in the corner <laughs> under my blanket fort. <laughs> so tough. Oh, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. When are you gonna That's learn? Like a fort, yeah. When are you gonna learn that? I really don't care much about any of this shit. No, I just feel like you're picking on me. You're That's part me. of the show. No. Yeah, you has got right there, retarded in the title. I do. Yeah. What title? Only retarded. Donald Trump. Yeah. Rampage. <laughs> you deep, you deep, you deep. <laughs> I thought, thought it was a funny story. What from the headline? Oh. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to, uh, what? excuse myself for one moment. I, I'll be right back. Hold on. All right. Well, well, he's gone. I just figured to have a relaxed dork table today, do a couple of links. Maybe me and Vinny will talk about him, what we think about the stuff. But the first one's obvious. That was like, if the RLM had a handbook, that would be one of the chapters in it. So you, you can see what we think of the police as a group, so to speak. Which is kind of strange, because it's like a a group of individuals, because there's the common links are very weird, like how we see the the government or the law. <laughs> and then Vinny's off searching for something. We I, must have, I'm back. I had to oh. cough and had a bit and stuff like that. Oh, I thought we had a I inspired. Didn't want to share it with good. Everybody. It was a very private moment. He's yeah, learning. So, Daily Stormer, wake the fuck up, Samurai. 
Yeah. We started. Donald Trump goes on a rampage against Iranian cyberbullying. I feel like that this really needs to be like talking some stupid dumb voice. Uh, well, you don't want if you don't want to read it. I'll no, 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 no. I'm, I'm talking about Trump. I mean, yeah. dump the Trump. Be good. It Trump. wouldn't matter, Vinny. Whoever's sitting there, the still the game that's going on is going exactly. on with, with or without whoever's exactly. holding the that, chair. It makes me feel better when I say it, though. It's words. Yeah. Well, enjoy. But uh, have some fun with this here story. I like Donald the Trump very much. I like it to Donald too much. I thank you very much. Oh, it's a serious sure, sure, Donald Trump. You know, I never read his anything he posts, Donald Trump. Does he post? Never. Oh, yeah, see, he the, twins. Uh, I don't know. It's not post if you twit. Uh, I don't know. You know. How do you dodge the president's twit? Because they or is that twat? My Twitter feed with it. Yeah, or it's twat for sure. Past tense uh, is I, twat. Okay. I have the perfect ability to uh, not look at something, not acknowledge. Uh, so I can see it. What you're it right what, on out. What you're saying on the dork table in front of everybody oh, is yeah. that you have a superpower. Yes, and, I do. and you can actually avoid Donald Trump's presence. Right. He doesn't so, mesmer. Wait, wait. He doesn't mesmerize yes, you and put you into his deep hypnotic trance, so you'll be one of his red hat guys. <laughs> not, not I. Hey, Come what, on, what, wait. What was my superhero name? No. I forgot it already. <laughs> I forgot. You forgot. Did, Did we? Was it something we were writing on the uh, wire? No, it was over here in that first link, wasn't it? The first link. I don't know. What that cop that? link? Yeah. I kept the cop link. So. Stingray! There stingray! Is. There, yeah. Like the stingray. You better write that <laughs> down. down. <laughs> the stingray. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mentally retarded stingray. Huh. You, well, you, you want to hear about uh, this? Sure. You, you you want to... Uh-oh, what happened? Mm. Whoops. Uh-oh. I Hit a know. button. Nothing happened I mean, here. You know what I need to do. I need to ask Grim to come on here and see if we can disable these uh, smart functions they call it. Of the your bar, thing. your bars are moving when you talk, so I hear you. Ba, 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 ba. I can check. Iran the... calls Trump mentally retarded. Hmm. The entire war campaign was just about helping out our greatest ally, the Jews, hmm. who built America by offering low interest loans to black people. But now it's personal. Iran warned Tuesday that new U.S. sanctions targeting, it, targeting its supreme leader, supreme leader, uh, and other top officials meant closing the doors of diplomacy between Tehran and Washington and heightened tensions, even as President Hassan Rouhani derided the White House as being afflicted by mental retardation. <laughs> President Donald Trump called that a very, very ignorant and insulting statement, tweeting uh, that Iranian attack on any U.S. interest will be met with great and overwhelming force. Overwhelming will mean obliteration, his Secretary of State said. The Iranian statement was immature. Very, very, very immature. Very, very. Make fun of my hair. Uh, yeah, this cannot be allowed to stand. You will not insult the Donald's hair, good sir. You'll uh, recall that Donald Trump, is, uh, his first campaign promises was to obliterate those who will make fun of him. I'm, I'm, start, I'm starting to get scared a little bit. <laughs> At his rallies, you'll remember that everyone would chant, Lock them up! Lock them up! Come on, let's do it. No. Lock them up in no. reference to people who make fun of Donald Trump. Oh, my. This is wild. And build the bombs in reference to the bombs he would use to kill people who insulted him. Wow. And he keeps his promises to the market people. He quickly took to, tre to, to the Twitter twatter sphere uh, to threaten to destroy the country for this outrage. Iran leader doesn't understand the word nicer compassion. They never hit. Supreme leader, my ass, said to Donald. No, he no he sadly. Said, oh, I thought that was. A you minute. jumped. Yeah. Uh, no, mm. I thought sadly was. Yeah, oh. Never mind. Okay. Uh, anyway, so sadly, the thing they do understand is strength and power. Yeah. And the USA is by far 
the most powerful military force in the world. See, capitalized military force that Donald did and not the world. It's a small W. You know, we really see where he's <sighs> And he got $1.5 trillion invested over the last two years alone. So, <laughs> hey, <laughs> go, yeah, it's yeah. trouble now. Uh, uh -huh. yeah. That's what the Donald the wonderful Iranian people are suffering and for no reason at all. The leadership, see, I can't really talk like I'm continuing soon. No, <laughs> or at all. At the all. <laughs> Thank you. They're, that's why I love you. Y'all always so uh, I know. <laughs> shut up now. Wait a minute. Didn't I tell you to shut up? No, no, that was like a week it's ago. My, Never yeah, mind. Carry on, week. carry on. Yeah, yeah carry you, on. You got a 20% discount. <laughs> Shit. Where where did you fall off at? <laughs> oh, about the wonderful the Iranian, Iranian people, people are suffering, suffering. <laughs> and for no reason at all. Maybe hey, I can do it like I Bobby was John Kennedy. F. Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leadership spends all its money on terror and little on anything else. The U.S. has not forgotten Iran's use of IEDs and EFPs and MFUs and. Uh, a B conversation, see your way out. D jumped over E to F you up. What's up, G? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's just about a Donald Trump tweet, isn't it? Well, I think Trails it well, all hey, over the listen place. here. Well, uh, bombs which killed 2,000 Americans, we did many more. Ouch, did they get them in Iran? How did these guys get over? Mm. Do you know? Hitchhikers, mm. yep. Yep, Iran's very ignorant and insulting statement put out today only shows that they do not understand reality. Uh, and he attacked by our by Iran or I walked or I crawled or anything else. Uh, American will be met with great and overwhelming force in some areas. Overwhelming will mean obliver obliteration. No more John or Kerry, you know, Obama, baby. That's right. <laughs> 2,000 dead. Ah, he's talking about, you know, wow. talking about uh, we're killed by bombs when the U.S. launched the 2003 invasion of Iran to liberate the people. Nothing says liberation like bombs, baby. That's mm. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, in the name of ultimate freedom and democracy and human rights. Oh, oh yeah. what a glorious freedom it was. Oh, would, well, I think would you should call Donald the supreme leader. Would you do me a big favor, Vinny? I get so excited. What, 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 don't, what? Don't ever help me with rights. Rights. What about wrongs? Uh, that's my thing. No. Hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what, what I, that's a very good point, Mr. Flash. What? Very good. There should be no debate debate about even having to help anybody with their rights, but there should be continuation the discussion of wrongs. Maybe so, because uh, the lack of any kind of rules in, you know, in a language I can read doesn't make me go out there and murder anyone. Hey, there's one a taco. He says, Vinny hey, Dickens what a can taco. be way dorky too. Oh, <laughs> ah, Vinidiculous. Wow. <laughs> It's a good thing. Late anyway, this morning. Thank you. So Thank you very much. You're having fun with the Trumpster too, huh? Sure. Uh, uh, it's so easy. <laughs> Why? Well, he's such a clown. Well, okay. The truth is, I don't see any of the crap he does. I don't watch the links. I don't have uh, American TV that you know. Well, news I hear or any of that. I hear it reverberation, uh, reverberated and echoing yeah, throughout. The, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I so, when I scan minds, I see a ton of Trump shit. I just never open any of it. So right. out, outside of reading an occasional, you know, one liner, either bragging about Trump doing some great miracle or what a dickhead he is, one or the other. I, I, I'm going to have to stop you right there, Mister. In the mm. as you. To refer to the Donald as supreme leader. Oh, you know, I got a picture to go along with that, too. Is I'm, it a duck feather? I'm going to go get it. I sent it to Cirque, so I got to go copy and paste it. All right. I'll put well, it. I'll tell you more then about the evil Iranian leader, huh. Saddam Obama, 
was put on trial for his crimes and justly executed by the brave American general. He's a brave American general with the last name of Asadar. Sadir. Huh. Muqtada. Can you say oh, that name? No. Muqtada. Don't, don't hey, ask. There's always supposed to be a, listen, yeah. there's always supposed to be a U and an E after a Q. There is? S-K. Why? Well, In what rules, language? Man. It's rules, mister. Rules. Who, whose rules? Rules is rules. Rules is rules. Whose rules? Do you know that Hess was the editor for Mein Kampf, making him the very first gram, grammar Nazi? Well, I, I don't know, but you can, you've got wire open, right? Yeah. Open up the RLM um, thing. Wait, no, I guess it's it's yours. Let's see. I. Yeah, I've got you opened, and uh, Cirque sent a couple of pictures. I ain't got them. No. Post, I'm, post. I'm looking post. at them right now on the internet, so. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll tell Maybe you it's in the I'll RLM. Try, try the RLM chat room one. Okay. Let me read a little bit, and I'll go fetch him up. How's that? Oh, yeah, because we're talking. So, yeah, it's in the RLM chat one. She posted two pictures I want you to see. Okay. I will. I interrupted your great... Uh, Link, because well, I was just to go on and say more than yeah. And we're doing a dork table though. And Cert gets a little. That's right. Hmm. She puts up some really good stuff, so I just wanted you to be aware of the kind of stuff she was putting up. She has an amazing ball bag uh, brain. Hmm. Wait. Uh, oops. I just see that. <clears throat> I was gonna go mute to do that, but. My button got pushed and it moved. So yeah, it's it's back in, I am. interesting the very way she deep. thinks, isn't it? I range very ignorant and insulting. Hey, so very, very, are are very you a member? Deep. Are you a member of a club that has more rules than members? Mm, hair club for men. America. Oh. Yeah, I think that's probably true. But you did, know our victory. Did you read? Only re- came. Hey, did you read your? Did you read your copy of the Patriot Act to see where you stand in American politics? I, I, I'll, I'll read it after. Yeah, after they kill me. You know, you know, no. So ignorance, wh- ignorance is no excuse to the law. Mr. What do you think that that the uh, Patriot Act took from us? Well, first of all, uh, you need to spell it out: P A T R I O A T or O T. Ought or at? I think it's O T. Huh? Google it. It'll tell you. No. Or whatever. Google's not bad. Google it. Well, I got that, what you call it, duck, duck, go thing. But I'm used to calling it Google, so fuck squack, you. Squack, squack. Yeah. squack. But you, you, can't, you can't train me to do shit. I'm too old. I still call you games. You quack like a duck? No. Okay. Well. But I can do this. <laughs> I feel a little dirty after that. Oh, bad. What? Stop. What? It sounds like you're making a mess. I'm a one man band. <laughs> Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> and now it is 16 years later, and so, just like in Star Wars. So, bum, bum, bum. at the beginning of the Dork Table, I mentioned to you in uh, Alaska, I read a link today. Didn't keep it, though, but I read a link about the governor was allotting $10 million to the suburbs, the rural areas, uh, or the rural, one or the other. Uh, You know, I get kind of dyslexic trying to remember shit. Anyway, $10 bucks to get more law enforcement, and then I find that link that that you read in the beginning about how they're, they're having such a hard time filling the jobs now. Yeah. So they, both stories. See, this is what I'm. Why I never believe anything. You see my dilemma, huh? 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 Mm. Maybe if you take the de off, you'll be better off. But which one is true, Vincent? I don't know. I'm so lost. Oh, I need Donald Trump to set me straight so I could learn the right path. Don't be ridiculous, man. (laughs) Don't be ridiculous. (laughs) Yeah, I didn't say ridiculous. That's Mm. ridiculous. It means it's like you're doing it. This it's not like you're doing it over and over. Maybe it is ridiculous. And meanwhile, don't be ridiculous. You did it twice. But meanwhile, (laughs) in the chat, Grimner said Trump 
didn't deny being a retard, though, did he? <laughs> In response, Donald said, Derp. Yeah, but what said Trump is a puppet of BB dot nutty yahoo yep well yeah. and they're puppets of somebody else it's just a big chessboard game yeah, my and we're puppets dead. better than your puppet yeah maybe so because i'm staying out of all the the big problems you just wait mister we'll mm. run out of folks around here and we'll go collect your little self up and bring you back here and do things to you what do you, you like alien you like days at the beach no Yes, I, I, we'll no. have you a towel and no, water. Don't like the your beach. Your vacation time spent no. here. Sir, Cirque, Sir can handle like the beach. No, I, I'm, what I'm telling you is mm. we're gonna waterboard you, buddy. Who's we? Well, me and my empire. Ah, well. Just like ha, it's 16 years later, mm. and just like in yeah. Star Wars, a new evil has risen. Well, I the Moolah order, mister. I've tried to share this vast knowledge with you before. What you really should do is apply to, like, George Soros. Tell him you need $12 million to create a functioning death ray, and it'll take you 10 years to develop it. I like the idea. Yeah, then you, if you get the money, then you got 10 years to spend $12 million before you die. <laughs> That would be pretty good. What a deal. <laughs> Such a deal. Yeah. Hey, we can get you a discount. Yes, that's right. RealLibertyMedia.com listeners. Well, you too can get 20% off yeah, now instantly see, on your new deal. Your your brother Goober says I never offer any uh, any you know solutions to problems. And I think that what I just told you is brilliant. That's a solution to all your problems for 10 years. Till, till it wonderful. comes... Till it comes time to produce your your uh, master weapon that you promised, it's but so good. If ten years is worth twelve million dollars, do it. What a deal! Such a deal. Oh, man, if I had that kind of nut, I'd do it. Hey, you know what the Donald said, our supreme leader? He said, "Presidential harassment, cyberbullying is a violation of international cyber law, and is classified as a crime against humanity." I said, "Word." <sighs> president wow this is really getting Sorry. ridiculous that yeah. what people say no one should yeah. have to tolerate this no sir no sir there, it's only reasonable that the donald trump would invade and completely obliterate the nation of iran in response to these insulting statements no someone emailed me and said that it was actually iraq and not iran that we invaded and destroyed in 2003 and where's the 2,000 people that were killed? That's what was my question was when I started reading this. I don't know if that's correct, mm. but I think it is. But if mm. so, I don't believe that Donald can be blamed for thinking that these uh, people were killed in Iraq because because those words sound very uh, similar <laughs> <laughs> and only have one letter different. I mean, perfectly understandable. Yeah, it's, it's hard to read a map and hold your hair on at the same time. <laughs> I also, understand. <laughs> also, it's pretty much all the same. Mm. All countries in the region can't tell them <laughs> apart. Yeah, all countries yeah you in can. Oh. Are filled with the evil people who hate freedom, democracy, and human rights. Come wow, on, that's just a, a load of shit in the first place. <laughs> well, you get look. Even even in America, you've got wackadoodle extreme groups out well, there. Well, wait. What? This is the best part. There's this more? Is, yes, sir. Holy shit. <laughs> I got I to gotta reread the first beginning of this paragraph. Okay, all right. So to, to be sure that you get this, or not you, but you, you, the other you, that the, like sheep that are listening. Also, it's pretty much all the same. All countries in the region are filled with evil. Evil people who hate freedom, to, uh, democracy, and human rights. Other than Saudi Arabia and Israel. <laughs> Which are bastions of hope oh, wow. in an otherwise dark land. How fucked up. Yeah. Oh, my. They yeah. chop heads off for yeah. fun. In Saudi yeah. Arabia. Yeah. Woohoo! Look, there goes another head. Stick it down the curb. <laughs> the national sport for Saudi Arabia. Head kicking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In a dark land. Yes, otherwise, 
Uh, well, we can't expect Trump to remember everything, like the difference between Iraq and Iran, let alone I crawled, uh, if such a difference does indeed exist. Not knowing, not knowing the difference does not make him mentally retarded. There you have it, sir. I was yeah. reading Beetle. He's going to go take a nap. Beetle! Okay, yeah. Beetle. He, he hung in. Well, hey, come on. It's the middle of the day. Let the old guy get some sleep. Yo, geezer. Yeah. Put his take diaper your on. Yeah, put your diaper on and take a nap. Yes. Don't forget the Geritol. Don't, don't forget the diaper. <laughs> the diaper. <more> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking around, B. Just playing. But, you know, we only insult people because we like them. Hey, you just got a great compliment. Mm -hmm. I like your voice, too. Yeah. Chloe said oh. that you have a great voice. Oh, how nice. Tell her when she's not such so mean, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> she's too mean. She's not mean. I can't appreciate your friend Chloe. No. I like Chloe. Mean, 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 mean. Shut up. Make me. I come up. Yeah, I could jump right through this internet and come over and pull your lip. Get busy. <clears throat> if you're feeling froggy there, Bosco, I suggest you hop. Because I'm not going anywhere. I'll be here when you get, and I'll buy you the first beer before we fight. Cool. Yeah, well, that's a definite incentive yeah. to come over to Denmark and whoop your yeah, ass. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's a Jewish tradition that when somebody comes to whoop your ass, you get them drunk first. That's a good idea. Yeah. My people have survived a lot of shit because we we think sneaky. <laughs> Hey, my friends came back from Springfield yesterday. You mentioned They came over that. and got me, yeah, last night. Got big hugs. And then my other friends, family-like uh, friends, they come down from Missouri up around uh, Joplin. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, great, great time. Ah, Party cool. last night. Yeah. Well, right so you, and then Teddy, not my friend Teddy. You're interacting with other carbon-based life forms? Oh, yes, I do it all the time. Really? Yes, ah. yes sir. Do you, do you find it frustrating? No. I oh, enjoy it. Really? All of it? Yeah. Well, so you think you're like in control of everything then, huh? Uh, I generally try to maintain control of my own situation. Ah! See? You know? yeah. Well, basically, come on. That's all we can do is our own shit. But sometimes when you do it, it looks like it reflects off other crap that it's really got nothing to do with. They're just similar, but they're not real. Yeah, that's too much bad. for you, or too not bad. well enough explained. Uh, no, I forgot my Geritol. I was falling off mm. napping. Put that. your diaper on too. Out yeah, yeah but awful. don't forget to put your diaper on the right way this time. Uh, yeah. And it, what does it hold? Eighteen pounds, right? <laughs> 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 How do you say that in, in Farsi? Uh, I don't know. Tickle you Farsi. I don't many speak. Medi, many medi tickle you Farsi. I don't speak any language besides well, English, and I don't speak English very well. I, I mean, as far as correctly English. would fall. You know, a, gra a grammar Nazi would probably have me gassed. Well, <laughs> you know, gra ah, grammar Nazi. You, sir. Yeah. You, yeah. Uh -huh. Claiming to be, look, I'm just telling you the way that it is, according to. No, the, you're not. You're telling me what somebody told you. Yeah, exactly. The way and that. You don't matter, man. So that's not an excuse. You are not the supreme li leader. Oh. The lizard leader, good sir. I'm not. <laughs> no, sir. Well, how, Donald can do it. How do you, you know? Cannot. Ah. Hmm. Well, he's going the wrong direction anyway, so. Follow that idiot if you want to. I ran, I rock, I crawled, it doesn't matter. They're all evil. It's the free. Yeah, I'll see all, I mean, all that. I mean, I mean Israel, yes, and uh, Saudi Arabia, yeah. yeah. They're they're the bastions of hope in an otherwise dark world. Right. Go to Chicago sometime, or New York, or Miami, or L.A. This sounds like a job for the Stingray. Well, but Vinny, the U.S. is living off an old, an You're old. You're giving up my secret identity again. Stop yeah. it. They're living off an old reputation that has been replaced with new shit. But 
the old reputation hasn't been replaced. Well, that is very, very frightening. Why? Thunderbolt and lightning type yeah. of thing. Okay, why? Galileo, Galileo. Yeah, okay, Galileo. don't sing at me, you freaking redneck. Man, I'm going to bash you with a ukulele someday. Keep that up. Well, I'm... Yeah, I've I've heard I vibrate on irresistible. Night night beetle. But, but Vinny, you have to control yourself and join in the conversation. I'm gonna try really, Did, really, really hard this time. I got a question because you're you're in America. This is a question only an American could answer correctly. You ready? Okay. You sitting down? You got a smoke? Huh? 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 I got a yeah, I got a bow loading. Does Canada make America look better? No. Uh, unfortunately, there has been this big thing about Canada for so long now. Yeah. Um, yes, they are not Americans, and I'm tired of them claiming to be Americans. They're no better than a Mexican or a South American. That is not, they they, they got to take American out of the South in that whole continent because this is America. Nowhere else, good sir. And I'm tired. I want the wall built. I want it built on the north. I want it built on the south, <laughs> east and west. I want a great wall around this great nation and a supreme leader that will lead us gloriously in victory against the evil, crawling, walking Iranians. Yes. Boy, I'm glad I asked. Did you feel excited? Okay. Did you feel excited? No, you... I'm kind of worried and sweating. You're making me nervous. What? What do you? What? What? Have did you bump your head? <laughs> Come on, Ben. I did not. But you know, well, I I normally don't like to tell stories of my friends. It's like this one guy. It's like I wonder why some people drink. You know. This guy falls down. I, I don't know how he's still alive. Landed on his head <laughs> again. Yes, I tried to save him, but it was like, dude, you're like actually not trying to stop falling, but increase the fall and put me with you. I had to let him go. He landed on his head. I go, I, I've been trying to help you. Didn't I tell you? I told you to get down off them steps before you fell, and look what's happened to you. You fell trying to get off the steps. Wow. Yeah, but... Yeah, he challenged me to a dance off too. Wow, you sound like you're living the really rough life out there in I live a Art, Kansas. It is awesome, yeah. I have a great life, and I have good friends. Right, I and I got peace and I love him. I got peace and quiet. Oh, did I tell you I had two additions to the uh, yard to the garden? Uh, <laughs> no. Did you get some gnomes move in? Have you sublet your uh, garden space? No. What? My my mother in, <clears throat> my mother in law was uh, doing us a favor because Sir got uh, kind of stranded in the city. the tr The trains and the buses weren't lining up to get her home. Right. Well, Sir, mom know, said, "Oh, I'll, I'll drive you home." So they they come and uh, they stop at the store on the way back, and they bought me two trees. Uh, two. They're bigger. They're. Uh, what do you name them? I, I didn't. I, what? I buried them. Oh, you're one of those guys, huh? That's right. Dug two holes. Poured a bunch of water in it. <laughs> planted. Yeah, right. And I drowned them, and then I put more dirt on top of that. Don't bury them too deep, Mister. I don't. Don't educate me on how to. Bury a tree. Well, listen, I brought a story to mind uh, Did? on naming. Yes, names. Yeah, you didn't <laughs> name your trees. Hey, I was bragging about so, my mother-in-law bringing me two trees. What kind trees. of trees are they? First of all, because fruit you know, trees. You've not impressed me so far. You've not even named them. I forgot something. So, some kind of fruit yeah. trees. Yeah. Oh, but, fruit. Mm -hmm. well, that's good. Yeah. So we can probably rule out a fig, right, or a date. No, so, some kind of a. Uh, like a, some kind of what? Like an apricot or something. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I I only did. save the seeds, buddy. There's laetrile inside. <laughs> I just planted. They're like very young trees. They probably won't bear fruit for a year or two. Okay. But we'll train them. It's very important. Well, to your structure. The good at that stage. The good thing. You know, thing, I'm an arboriculturist. Yes. A what? Tree guy. Oh well, no. 
I know you cut them down and whatnot, but I didn't know no, that you were a, I, Yeah, there's a difference between so somebody climbing a tree and whacking it. There. You're a neo-druid on top of the whole thing. I've done, uh, yeah, I've done uh, reports and um, yeah. Cause, studied the, in, in documented the growth and all that over a several-year period. Well, uh, four I, years on, on this one Chinese elm in, uh, out in uh, California, in Southern California. Man, yeah. it was the most beautiful tree, and I, I had... Uh, Four years to work in it and, and continue the canopy and the, the lace it was like a big, it was like something that you would see in a Dr. Seuss. Beautiful and tall, tall. It was a, a guy, for a, for a uh, Chinese elm, it was tall, like 40, about 45 foot up to the crown there. You know, but I've done crown restoration and stuff. People go in and top a tree, you know, stupid. Mm -hmm. You don't, you, know, you don't want to do that. I guess there's some time sometimes it may have to be done and then you'd have to come back in to do a, a crown restoration um and there's also the pollarding what's called pollarding hmm. uh, you'll see that a lot in france and and you'll see uh like a crepe myrtle here where they cut it back you got to cut it back for all the blooms so but uh -huh. that's not actually a, a true pollarding but oh. uh, but it's close enough and similar yeah grimner said canada is america's ass hat that's right. They're always on top of us like that. And then Woody uh, says, and Seattle is its faggy, tot tranny <sighs> sister, mister. I see it right there on the internet, so you know it's true. The battle in Seattle. Uh, is there really one? I don't know. I, I went through Seattle in 2017. Well, just remember, begging the Fed for relief is futile. Like, like in the Borg. Yeah, but you know how it's going to end. You're going to be bored. It's not pretty. You think it's pretty, but um, it's not. You're all, the, you'll all be the same. I want to talk a to you. Hey, mental fruit. pancakes just showed hey, up. Cakes. I'll go over and say hi. Hey, want to taco said it's forbidden fruit. That which is not forbidden is permitted. <laughs> wow, what a bunch of, come on. You know, what's not, what's not forbid. Everything's every, you people need to m mind your business, I think is what it is. You know, I, that's the, the key to my success in my 59 odd years, right? What I think it is, is my ability to actually in physical life, mind my own fucking business and just get along. And it's always worked for me. No matter where I'm at. It's easy. But the internet web brings out that freedom side of us, and we, we it changes everything. Mm. You don't think so? I think so. I give you proof. I can't prove it to you. Can you give me permission? No. Or is it forbidden? No, neither. See, my reality doesn't have all that crap in it. That's why I guess I feel good most of the time. Huh. What? I don't know. Well, all my restrictions were my own choice to make, not somebody else going, hey, by the way, we got chains for you, stupid. What? Cha -cha -cha. Yeah, but see, I knew what I was getting into before I got into it. It wasn't a surprise. And Hey, you, you did this. I knew what I was doing. I think it's a little different that way. Because... You're going to be in a prison some at some level in life, no matter what, because you're confined. It's what a prison is, keeps you contained. The house, same thing. You can't just walk across the street and walk in the neighbor's house naked and go help yourself to a piece of cake. Hell no, they'd call the, you know, probably get a shotgun and call the police on you. Dun, dun, dun. Exactly, right? So there's like certain things that, Common sense tells you don't do these things. Even you know better than to walk to your neighbor's house without putting your pants on, right? Uh, actually, I have already told my uh, neighbor to. Uh, yeah, but when you go I'm to happy. them, do you just forget to get dressed? Well, I actually put on clothes this morning when I left the house. So. One for one. <laughs> no, I'm. Yeah, I wear boxer briefs, so I, yeah, I roam around in my underwear all the time. To the inside. to to the neighbors. Yeah, sometimes. Well, that's that's kind of free taking free balling to a new level, huh? 
Well, it depends on what kind of friend you got. <laughs> I would suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so now everybody on the Doric table has been informed by Vinny himself. When you come visit him, sometimes he doesn't wear his pants. Well, there are some people that pass by that I always feel like they've got to look up my driver. <laughs> so, listen, I generally got my yeah. cowboy hat on. <laughs> I know where this is going. Go ahead. And then I've got. <laughs> well, I'll just leave it for the uh, mind to wander there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got lost there for a minute. Okay. Well, you were. I was <laughs> warning people about how you answer your door. That way, if they ever, you know, visit you, that they'll be prepared. Well, listen, I some friend. Well, like my friends come back from up Missouri last night. Uh, I just I, somebody pulled up, so I walk out there in my underwear. And, hey, what's going on, y'all? You know, hey, mm. we're back. And I said, they said, you want to come over? I said, hell yeah. I said, well, hey, let me go get some bridges on. So oh. yeah, I put my pants on when I have to. You need to, you know. Right? It's purpose. I got a serious. I got a serious Jew question to ask you. Jew, use your teeth. <sighs> masticate. No, Jew. Masticate. I, slow down, Sparky. Jew question. <clears throat> okay, now are, are you sitting down? I am sitting okay, down. I'm ready for the Now this is big. Okay. okay. Don't let it shock you too much. I want you prepared. It's huge. Huge. Do you think that Islam is taking your attention away from the dirty shit Israel does? No, because it's the same old song okay. and dance, All right. sir. I was curious what you had to say I, about it. I do not uh, fall for that trick. Okay, what I think they're both working together. What do you think? They are. Oh, they are. okay. There you go. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I've made... Well, we, slide of hand. You know how magic works? Yeah. You're looking uh-huh. at the wrong thing. But That's right. we're agreeing. What's wrong here? Hmm. See? Watch what I do in chat. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm in the wrong chat. I'll have to. Yeah. Not not in Chloe's chat, you Chloe lover. I can't lover. do it in Chloe. Yeah, we, we don't have a barman. Oh, do, do you have hey, your... did it work? Are you wearing your lucky Chloe boxer shorts? I lost it. <laughs> uh, let me try he it. lost his Chloe boxer shorts. <laughs> the hell, man. Oh, yeah. look. It was a time delayed. Give I don't know. Magic. There it is. Damn. Two of them. Do you believe in magic? Not anymore. Like I believe. No. Huh? Absolutely. Not like you believe, you weirdo. Uh oh, I got a new word I've got to know now. Oh, what's that? Cordial. Cordial. Well, so well anyway, so you think the Islam Jew thing is like the same group working all of the rest of us idiots. I have a so, sneaking suspicion. I, I, I do believe I, I, I explained that to you already. Mm. Yes. Slide of hand, and yeah, and you're, you know, you're, um, dirty Vinny double talk maybe, but it, you didn't really come right out and say anything that was in black and white, Mister. Hey, what is going on here? I where put it into the chat, and it has not uh, responded to me. I haven't done so. Well, let me try it again. Maybe I'll get a double dose there. I don't. Dot def. Oh, yeah, your computer is cordial. Do you know what cordial is? Cordial, right? Oh, cordial. cordial. Yeah. Adjective. See, look, it did it double Cordial. Warm and sincere and friendly. Yeah. Cordial. Cordial. Yeah. I, I guess oh, that was like Grimner's the, uh, asking about Chloe's chat so that he can get an invite. So tell him. He wants Send an invite. A, you, I think. Yes, Grimner, That's you're welcome to come over. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll message you. But don't you, uh, don't. Don't everybody try to follow him over there, okay? I just want to tell you, <laughs> we have a nice, nice place. We we have a couple of pets. Well, we only have one. We have a Hans pet, Hans Doodle. Yes. What happened to you? What happened to what? Did Did you die? You were bragging about your pet. <laughs> yeah, we we have Hans. He snuck in over there. <laughs> I left the door open. Oh, you know, have fun with that moron. Yeah, he, he's he actually no. Uh, yeah, he just acts like an idiot on the RLM. It's yeah, not I'll funny no more. Me. Anyway, there you go, Grimner. Uh-oh. Don't give nobody the, my number, sir. Everybody the number. Damn it. 
No, that's private. Everybody, give it, sell it to them, charge them, and we, give them twenty percent off. I well, no, no, sir. No, what do you mean no? no I'm not selling that. Hey, did you see that thing I sent you about uh, this new <laughs> New York? Chloe, <laughs> speak of that, there comes Ju- Judge Dredd over to our place. Uh, this New York Congresswoman had posted a list of gun owners and their addresses. So on Minds.com, somebody had posted her name and her address. <laughs> said, spread this around. Sounds like fun. Well, maybe not, but, I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well uh, not be upset when it happens back. Yes, that's, Chloe, Grimner is absolutely welcome here, huh? That's why I'm not into all that, you know, handcuffing, shooting, and killing people because they don't do what you tell them. Well, what are you going to do? Live live in a world where that doesn't apply. It's not that difficult. Look, Hans showed up. How how sweet. What are you going to do? Well, probably we'll have probably smack him in the nose with the rolled up newspaper before it's all over, I'm sure. <sighs> Poor Somebody's got to clean up the crap. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's your poodle. You clean up after him. Hey, let me ask I you something serious. What? I already asked you something serious, mister. What? It's your turn. All right. What? 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 Do you think, do you think that uh, uh, mm-hmm. I'm a good judge and, or advocate, perhaps? Uh, maybe there needs to be a word for both, judge, advocate. Well, a spider. see, you're asking me. You. you go over here. I, go catch I have a different outlook on the totalitarianism that you see, dear. Boy. I think I'm a good judge and advocate. Well, okay. I think that n- not that hmm. you don't know how to compromise when you when you're on top. <clears throat> you you want to win a hundred percent and you go too far. That's my opinion. Well, I'm serious about it, Mister. I'm passionate. I'm, I'm sincere. You asked me what uh, I thought. Well, I do well, radio I, with I, you. I, I mean, uh, come on. What do you? But I, you know, it's like the. Like the globe and all this other crap, gravity, all this shit people believe. Because, well, they've been told it their whole fucking life. So instead of maybe it's something else. Oh, you're crazy. Oh, okay. I'm crazy. There you go. It doesn't change anything. It's just my outlook, my verbal expression about something out of control out there somewhere. Doesn't mean anything. But we've been taught it does. It got to mean something. Right, but the, maybe it's the vibrate. Hey. There's nothing. Maybe go to the Larry Woods, Rob Works School of Resonance and Vibration and Frequency. All that, all that invisible stuff, the electrical stuff we can't see that we don't learn about. Most of us. I'm one of the most of us. I didn't learn much about it. But, I don't know much about. Oh, uh, don't sing, Vinny. But what I got, <laughs> what I got though, Mr. Vincenzo, is like this. Uh, like a basic understanding, because when he talks about it, or Rob, or you even sometimes, when you're not fucking around, when you're serious, I, I follow along with the basic knowledge that I've, I've picked up. But I, I don't know a lot about it. But I, I think I recognize it in reactions in life. You know what I mean? Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, yeah. Well, listen, I, Chloe Grimner was poking fun at me. He said he didn't need an invite. He was making fun of Vinny Diculous misspeak. Oh. Yeah. So we have our secret garden anyways where Grimner, <laughs> Chloe, oh, uh, wow. Yes, and your dear lovely wife and I and uh, one other person. I'm going to leave them uh, unnamned, yeah. but they are a very nice person. I, also have, I have my And spots. nobody's invited. You do... And the least uh, be courteous if you do show up and be like sock puppet. Come in, do your little business, and get on out. Go we'll hang out somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Ouch. yeah we, we, yeah. Ooh. That's I, I look. It works great. I, I think there is some. Uh, Are you still uh, burnt courtesy. on the socks? No, 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 yeah, stay away. Oh, okay. Not I, I'm not coming. Okay. Don't worry about it. Thank you. 
you and, and anybody else that can hear this. Just remember, unless, I, I have Unless spies. you know it's cool and things, mm -hmm. you know, like we're going to kick it, right? Come on over. Right. We don't make no messes. Wow. Mm -hmm. No. We're, we're, what? Yes, it's messless. It's like, uh, yeah, messless. What? What is that? A singularity? I'm scared now. Less. less is more, right? Is it not? I don't know. I'm scared to answer you now. You frighten me. I may, well, I may, I think you've changed my life. I may never be the same. There's probably a song that we could sing together like that. But you know what song I will not sing with you? No. And, and I, I just, there's two songs that I really don't like that could actually be good songs, but that everybody <laughs> does it. One of them at the top of the list. Number one is Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done now? <laughs> well, poke me with a fork, mister. Yeah, you're. Yeah, stick a fork in Vinny, he's done. Ah, we've heard that one before. Hey, you know, I'm going to blame the deep state. I mean, it's, made, it's made you insane, Vinny. We're, we're communicating over here in our secret garden with the that, and Chloe, isn't and you're wonderful? not invited. Isn't that nice? I, yeah, I kind of like away. that. You know why? Clat. I did say clat, but then he said Chloe's clat. <laughs> Chloe's clat. <laughs> You're way What is out a there. clat? We're going to have to do OD on clat. I have no idea. Sounds, uh, You've... sounds like it's uh, venereal or venereal. Wow. Venereal. Wow. <laughs> you know, I, I, can't, I can't stress this enough, Vinny. Endless anarchy awaits if you don't do as you're told. Is that a bad thing? That's a quote. I saw somebody write that. Say it that. again. I want you to say it out loud, and then we're going to sing it. <laughs> Never mind, Vinny. Wow. <laughs> You're killing me today. Wow. Ooh, this is bad, bad. Clat is not good. It's a derogatory term that it refers to a male who is sexually promiscuous and or has meaningless sex or other sexual activities with numerous women or men and may be used as uh it may be used of a male who has a history of and then you got to go to class at urban dictionary i don't want to <sighs> i'm scared already wow what did you yeah. start this time you bone i didn't do it it was an accidental you know how words come out no around. no i yeah. don't Clat. no you you do it on purpose. And then you pretend sometimes, it was an accident. Sometimes I don't. Nah, that's a bunch of shit. It's you all premeditated. Gratuitous and gratuitous mm. Yeah, but see, we're playing at Admiralty Court right now, and you lose. Because, no, 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 yeah, no matter what you say, I'm going to overrule it, and I'm not going to let you use it as a defense. So by the okay. time you get out of here, you're going to owe me a shitload of money. Or have to go to prison. Take your pick. Oh, Ben and what? You have exactly two minutes to decide. <laughs> will you plead? I choose. I choose. Will you plead not I guilty? Choose, uh, my choose. Are you seeing my choose, man? No. Will you plead not guilty and face a jury of your peers? Twelve people as insane as you judging you for a crime. Ah. <laughs> Talk about well, you know, life. Huh? I'm going to tell you the thing about that. What is? Um, there's not. It's hard to find a, a truly informed jury. <laughs> you think? They get them yeah. from the people with driver's licenses. Do you know what Judge Anna Brown did? In no, Oregon? I don't even know who Judge Anna Brown is. And she was a presiding uh, uh, a judge in the mm -hmm. uh, Oregon standoffs trial. Whoa! In the Bundy trial? Yes, I am. Whoa. So yeah, was, why are you bringing up her lordship? Oh, because in uh, the one, uh, the second round trials, there was uh, of uh, Jason Patrick and uh, of the three others. Uh, there was eight a, a jury pool of eight hundred people. I was talking about this yesterday. She cut it down to four hundred right off the bat. She peeled and in there and started peeling people off. And you know, uh, I don't know if, or if you know how the uh, jury selection process occurs. Um, but it, it, it's quite uh, complicated and intricate, and there's a lot of process to it in, in eliminating jurors. But, uh, of course, the uh, 
the prosecution's going to want to eliminate anybody, say like in the Bundy Ranch deal, anybody that had to, uh, w was a farmer or a rancher, you know, or, or anybody that might uh, uh, have some similar uh, uh, or tend to have some similar notions would be dismissed. You know, if, if they asked a question to the jurors, uh, if uh, do you think it was, it's OK to bring a gun to a protest? And uh, I believe every one of the jurors said that, uh, no, it was not OK to bring a gun to a protest. Mm. Do you know how wrong that is and how right it is to bring a gun to a protest? Have you ever Isn't heard me? Idea? Have you ever heard me tell you what I think a protest is? Uh, it's a professional test. No, what, no, uh, you're for you you're given somebody all the decision power. And you're yeah, know. begging them yes. to see something your way. Why are they going to change their mind and see anything your way if you're begging them to? Ah, please. Well, let me it doesn't tell you work that way. Uh, yes, it does. Okay. And let me tell you how it does. See, you give oh. people the idea they, that, that they have this chance, right? Yeah. And then you concede a little bit, huh. right? And then they're all happy. Eee! And then they come back. Now, look at it like this. Now, let's say you had a dollar. Let me set this mic. Here. You had a dollar, and it was all in pennies. That's everything you had, right? That was uh, your food and housing and uh, mm -hmm. clothes and all your fun things to do. and uh, Yeah, then to, to uh, everything, right? Mm -hmm. That's all you got. Mm -hmm. Represents. Mm -hmm. And here they come, mm -hmm. and they take a penny out of your pile. Mm -hmm. Now, and then they go off with it, right? Now, what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Would you leave the 99 to go for the, to retrieve the one that was lost? Well, I thought you knew that, you know, the Jews invented copper wire. Because two, two of the old guys were fighting over a penny. Fighting over a penny, yeah. Yeah. So, hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. That's why I stay out of finance. Well. I'm not a negotiable now, kind say, of guy. Let's say but, that they've been coming, hmm. and, and I went off purposely uh, to uh, allegory on that the 99 uh left for the one but anyways so anyways i'll, I'll continue on to where i was actually talking about was uh, then they've come and they've snatched these pennies from you right over mm. time mm. and you know it's not really a hard hit when you get a penny took because you got all these other ones and i mean if you have to leave all those others to go off and fetch that one that was took for you you know you might lose the rest of it right? ouch so stop yes, taking my pennies, thief. Clutch, keep your clutch, right? And Criminal. then they come back and they get another one in it. No, and stop over time, pretty thief. soon. Yeah, well, I mean you're down to nearly nothing. And let me give you a uh, hmm. perfect example is the actual dollar or this what they're calling dollar, anyways, hmm. is Fed note. Hmm. It's actual value from its conception. What is it? Twenty dollars is now worth what? Fourteen hundred? Is that the price of gold? Is that about right? I think and yeah, gold's over all fourteen. This theft, yeah. Right? Yeah. Taxation is theft, and especially yeah. hidden taxation. Yeah. This is this whole thing going on up here in uh, Oregon. Why the senators left out on this cap and trade? You know, pay to pollute deal. Well, industry's leaving. It's it's exampled in California. You know, they, you see what happens with that. Do I say it's okay for these uh, uh, paper mills to dump? Uh, uh, you know the chemicals and stuff in the rivers no and but are they or have they yeah people have you know these corporations have done it and it's good business to pay the fine right go on about your business pay it go on make more money you pass it on to the consumer but it gets to a point right where mm -hmm. the, the price is so exorbitant then mm -hmm. that uh, you can't even pass that cost on to the consumer because they're going to be like uh nah i can't afford that or maybe i can get it cheaper somewhere else and yeah well, as so long as as long as there's millionaires, <clears throat> we're all right. We'll play the game for a while longer. Well, that's good. That's what I think. They can't collapse. It's like I was saying to you the other day. People's big argument is, well, they can. The, where's your Bitcoin when the power goes out? Well, yeah, if it Grimner was, yeah. Okay, but still, if it gets one, it gets everybody. It's not like it's selective. So the power ain't going out. The last thing the system would want for us right now is for the power to go out. How would they control us? Oh, very easily. 
How? I said easily. Yeah, you you do that a lot. Listen, I'm gonna, the power bless you, out, sir. Hey, then the, the, the <clears throat> ice box, or let me let me say it in the, the I guess the hmm. modern way. Say that, the refrigerator quits working. You know how you get your food? It comes in a refrigerated uh, trailer. They pipe that stuff in just in time, regularly. You know, and what happens when the power goes out? That's what I'm asking you. People are hungry. Yeah, they can't. Life doesn't go on as it's uh, now. In the old days, people kept gardens. They put their food. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So so now, what are you going to do when you're hungry? You're going to go where they're going to give you the food. Mm -hmm. Very easy to control. Well, yeah, but do you know what Grimm said? What? He said it's worse than that, Flash. They get the juries from the voter rolls. Holy hallucinations, Batman. I had no idea. I thought it was uh, driver's licenses. He says voter rolls. That mm. tilts the scale just a little bit. The people, yeah. the kind of people everybody that... Everybody can't vote. Not everybody. They, You know, you get excluded for certain things. Right, but the kind of mind it takes to vote scares me. How, how do they call 12 of them my peers? At what? Backgammon? Did I get them? Did I get them? Did I get them? I got what? them. Hey, shut up, duck killer. You duck murderer. Stop it. Free the ducks. I, I think, hey, listen. Grimner, you should arm the ducks and give them a chance to shoot back at these murdering, That's a good idea. These murdering swines. The ducks have no representation. They have nobody. Killer capture. That's They've awesome, got sir. nobody looking out for them until right now. I just decided. Arm the ducks. I, good sir, am no <laughs> advocate for the duck. <laughs> no, you're not. They're Palestinians to you, huh, Vinny? <laughs> hey, They're what? Dirty, nasty. They, they clat. That, that, that is the perfect description of a duck. They are. They, cl they clatters. Hey, they clat. How, how do you think America's first city is going to wake up in Palestine? How's it going to look when it happens? I don't know. What is your vision? <laughs> you have an opinion, I am sure. I would like to see bigger walls, greater, <laughs> huge, huge walls all around. See the shining sea uh, for you and me. Why? Why? And why? You. What's that going to do? It, it will keep us safe mm, from... from these people like these Canadians. Mm. Rumpy, you're excluded. Uh, yeah, no. You're an honorary American. Ooh, you're our brother. Ouch. We welcome you Ooh. with open, loving arms. Ow. Don't bring none of your friends. Ow. You Ow. And leave Alex. Take him back. Ooh. Matter of fact, I want to do uh, a, what is this? What would you call it? Not a hostage, but a, like a some type of citizen exchange type deal. I want to send. A I'll political, back, yeah, back wait. To Canada a, and bring Frumpy to America. Hey, trade daughter. politicians. No. Yeah, you could trade Trump for Trudeau. <laughs> a tick is a tick. <laughs> yes, Chloe. She's a, she's a duck lover. She knows no better. So I, I only capture Chloe's ducks. Oh, yeah. pussy. Wow. I put, listen, I put You're, the education. Uh, man, that's called kissing ass, please. No, it's a it's a respect thing. It's yeah, like, that's uh, what I call it what, too. But, listen, but, hey, if I come to your house yeah. and kill your ducks, hmm. would you be mad at me? No. Yes, you would. Why? You've already said as much. Yeah, they want to arm the ducks. Yeah, my yeah, ducks so probably shoot you back. Against my duck killing, especially if they were your. No, ducks, I'm not right? against it. I'm just think it should be fair. The ducks should have weapons to fight back. Ducks aren't that smart though. Maybe these and ducks. All, all they do, they spend their whole time thinking about their next clap. So I'm just going to tell you. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, like you. I get it. Okay. Not me, no sir. Yeah. No, oh, what, are you a deep thinker now? What? You better look. Mister, I sit around in my underwear so I can shock the neighbors when they come up my driveway. I mean, what? Tell one story, Vinny. Not twelve. How about fourteen? No, 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 no. no. This, this is not the this is not the RLM chat, my friend. I will Where strip you like a chicken wing and expose you to the masses. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Chicken wing, chicken wing. That's right. That's because I want to be important, and my <laughs> and the way I'm going to be important. Terrible, what is? She's taking my ducks away. He said, "No more ducks." Wow. Away. See. <laughs> 
control. Uh, people, well, people she didn't, maybe she didn't realize the concentration camp that I was yeah. in. I'm trying to make yeah. them think, yeah. re-educate them. Well, re-educate <laughs> this. What are you going to do okay, when there is no power? What are you, seriously, are you okay with it? Yeah, I'm absolutely, positively, 100% okay with it and ready. Now, from what you know about how this whole game works, if you're cut out of the game, they're cut out of the game if they got no power too, right? Well, yeah, but they're, it's coming to a tipping point where we're, we're very close hmm. um, to having, an, and I hate to use the word, but I will, consensus uh, as far as, we are figuring it out, and it, it's going to come to a point that they can no longer maintain this uh, system of control, and it's going to require the mass extermination. Right now, it's just, you know the slow kill, uh. but at some point, if things start getting out of hand, mm. um, yeah, they're going to turn up the oven. Okay, now who is going to turn up? You're, that's what I mean. Can you be more vague? So I don't know what you're meaning. The ambiguous they. Yeah. The the boogeyman, Freddy Krueger. Yes, those type of lights. Rob Zombie. I mean, come on, what are you talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Well, if I had knew, then why would... Okay. You're assuming I know, because you don't want to say it out loud. Do you know who's saying, I will survive? No. Her first name's Gloria. Okay. No, I'm not real big on girls named Gloria. Gloria Gaynor. Okay. I will survive. Meaning? I will survive. Oh, are we going back to the, you know, skir- is it, is scouring? Right? You're going to scour the fucking wastelands in search of fresh bodies to sustain your life. Well, listen. What? You know, well, I, are I, you I, insane? Me and, me and my buddy was talking about that last night. You yeah. know, uh, people that had to then suddenly have to go gather the foods off the uh, the land here uh, what is here run out quick uh, an example is the uh, deer population now is huge oh huge. yeah yeah deers yeah eating the garden um, so back about in uh, it was about 1950s or so hereabouts the uh, there was nearly no deer hereabouts the, the pop because people uh, over ate them i guess you know there was deers here and then there weren't and so they, uh, you know, like game laws make sense here, but it also is convoluted if you're hungry. I know, boy, he, I, I ate more deer. You go out and get deer all the time, you know, but he was eating it and he was poor. And so is there a point where you can say you got to go out there and kill whatever you want to? Uh, but where I digress here. Back to the, to the, uh, the population, yeah. If people spilled out in the woods here, first of all, you better hope it's when the, the uh, acorns and stuff is hitting the ground. Mike, in the conversation, you're not going to just go and live off the land. You're going to starve to death. Uh, and if you don't have the ability to uh, to harvest uh, enough stuff for your body, you're going to starve to death. Yeah, so then you'll be wandering the wasteland. See, that's, that's why it, it doesn't make sense that even in an accident... Because that, you want to live, don't you? But the power can't be uh, out for very long. At this point where we're at now, things changed. I was in an ice storm in North Carolina in, uh, I think, 2002. And it was pretty bad. And it was in a pretty good house. The whole thing was, you know, it was a nice deal. But the uh, ice storm had wiped out the power lines, buried them. And it was buried under ice, so they couldn't get to the power lines for like two weeks yeah. to go in there and replace them. And instead of underground replacement, they put them right back the way they were in the first place. <laughs> Disposable. Well, there's, a, there's a huge cost uh, difference in that. Well, see, there you go. But that's what I mean. If you do it right the first time. Yeah, well, all the places, I, all the foreign places <laughs> I've ever lived that had bad winds or were notorious for you know, the heavy winds and rain, had their their electric was underground. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense. But. Right, and their buildings were made of brick and stone, so they weren't going anywhere. I mean, we had a big ice storm here several years back, and uh, it was out of power just almost a month here. Well, when I was in Kirkwall, they had a, a fully assembled car over the bar 
Cool. And I couldn't figure out how they brought it. They brought it in in Piece pieces, piece. right? But the body would look the way they had assembled it. The body looked like it was in one piece. It was a small well, car. It wasn't, you know, like a, a song about foot. that too from Johnny Cash. I got it one piece at a time. <laughs> oh jeez! Here we go. <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. Yes, uh, this oven that I speak of has brownies in. Uh, we brownies. Yes. Oh, so Vinny's been a. Wee. Are you the, are you wake and bake, Vinny? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Vinny, ridiculous! Holy shit! What are we gonna do with you, Vinny? So well, uh, I'm serious. Whatever that, right? it is, it has to be consensual, and we'll have to have a safe word. Okay, but if the power goes out, right? See, I don't see it happening briefly. And so if it doesn't happen briefly, it can happen it can't seem to happen for any length of time. It doesn't make sense. Not that accidents don't happen. Huh? Go to EMP is. What do you mean EMP? No, I go ahead and tell me because Well, that's I mean a a, a possibility of uh, a, a attack on the country Oh, yeah. nuclear okay. detonations yeah. Yeah. above up in the atmosphere, and yeah. it caused the electrical magnetic pulse there, boom. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah all that high-tech crap. Knocks out everything electronic. You're like modern cars. So you've got an old car with uh, hmm. uh, points and condenser on yeah. it. Yeah, there you go. No, yeah, I don't. Year. I don't drive anymore. Yeah, like it, this, If you got like a Briggs & Stratton lawnmower, that's not going to be knocked out. you got a... Uh, 2019 Cadillac. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Right. Well, all these things have been uh, they've been creeping in slowly over a lot of years. Quack 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 quack. Now what are you gonna do? Well, still, I I've heard this comment made by uh, somebody on the RLM about well, what what about when the power goes out? And all I can think of is, is it's equal for everybody at that point. But no, it's not. Why not? Because some are more equal than others. How? Brute force. Oh, well, that's not more equal. That's just uh, being well, willing. I'm telling to... you that what that that's that will be the definition that uh, would come upon some others. Yeah. Well, I don't. More, I don't see more that more equal yeah. than you. Now, I don't... Well, that's the mentality. Yeah. Okay. Survival. People. Uh, people mm. do uh, all kinds of go to. Well, okay, and and I've been in I've been in an earthquake and hurricane that were massive, right? And the one common thing was people started getting nicer to each other. It Sometimes, wasn't... yeah, yeah. There's a pull together, but I'm, we're talking the difference between uh, uh, a disaster and complete collapse. Okay, but if your power goes out, your first instant thought isn't going to be it's never coming on again. No, most people so, will be sitting there waiting for it to come back on. Or, and, you know, then they'll, yeah. Or trying to communicate by phone to see what's going on from somebody they trust. <laughs> a lot of time the phone line's going to keep, keep working even though the power is down. Yeah, well, when the Sometimes earthquake the when the earthquake hit in San Francisco in, what, 88? I think it was 88 or 89. I forget the year. But I was going to visit my folks, and as soon as it stopped shaking the building, I went to the phone and called. So I told him, hey, we just had an earthquake. The power is going to go down. So if you lose me, I'm all right. <laughs> I'll be there in two weeks or whatever it was. And well, then I've I been shut in up. Tornadoes and earthquakes mm -hmm. and hurricanes. Well, the one thing I've never had it happen in Louisiana, but, huh? af after the shitty weather, I've never had people treat me bad because we're all working to get the fucking place back together. It's not a time to start, you know, pissing and moaning about you played your music too loud. I don't like you no more. Things like that. We had a big, we had a big tornado here some years back, yeah. and uh, you you want to talk about how people come together and help? Well, it's kind of curious. Volunteer because I, mean, right. I hear all the shitty shit. You know, I read all the shitty shit. Everybody's gonna, you know be scour scouring the wastelands looking for fresh you know meat and i don't i don't think so even under the worst of terms maybe in the bigger cities but not where it's smaller it's a different mentality altogether yeah city city wherever you go sir. 
Well, right. So it's all, uh, I guess, it depends on the population. I'm going to go with that. That's my, uh, my balancing point is if you're surrounded by too many people what? and the power goes out, shit's going to be probably bad. What was that rat community thing experiment? Remember the name of that? No, but I know what you're talking about because they've, they've uh, been doing experiments with rats like they do with us. You know, overpopulate, undernourish, and see what kind of results you're going to get yeah. from it on purpose. Yeah. Well, that's what they do with cities. Exact same fucking thing. Mouse Utopia experiment. Mouse Utopia. I didn't, I didn't know the name of it, Mr. Mouse Utopia. Oh, stop. Yes. Let me are, see what it says. In the are, are you a mouse utopia? Well, are you going to post it or something, Mr. Yeah, mouse Utopia? Why yeah, don't you uh, share John, with the whole crowd, man? You greedy man. I will. It's John Calhoun's Mouse Utopia 1957. There's a lot of uh, information mm. on how they carried this experiment out. And then I believe they eventually abandoned it. What were they looking for, in your opinion? Well, I, I'll tell you what came out of it. It's... Uh, you think Peaky and the Brain was just a cartoon? <laughs> well, I'm listening to you, and then you ask me a question about a cartoon. Huh? They found out how to control the population more extensively. Hmm. So what do you got? Well, you've got people clustered in uh, urban areas. You might call it ghetto. Uh, food stamps. What did you get with that food? Well, lots of good uh, bad fats and sugar and most people, you know that uh, are poor, eat poorly, and it's a hard cycle there. So you deprive a person of proper nutrition, and what do you got? Uh, I don't Wait, disagree with any of somebody. this. I thought you knew. No. Are you reading or Later. what? Right, hold on. I got to mute up, dude. I'll be back. All right. Take it over here. So hold on. Let me open up the link here. I got it All open. Right, I'm, out, but... I'm out. I'm not uh, yeah, I'll be back with you. Well, that was Vinny confusing us with his modern day life on the RLM Dork Table podcast today on the 29th of June, 2001 and 9. So uh, he was going to, what he did was he opened up a link, but it's got no text. But I do know what he's talking about, and uh, I've referred to this before. So the powers that be, like Mary likes to call them, you know, the leeches, blah, blah, blah. They've, uh, they've been working on whatever they're doing today. They've been working on this for a long time. And they've admitted to some of it. Then, then they've been accused of other shit. Then you hear all this crap like, oh, you're a theory. What is it? Uh, con conspiracy theorist. You don't know nothing. You're just crazy. Blah, blah, blah. And then all the stuff that we... Uh, <laughs> that we discuss it all happens so hmm. i don't know and then Vinny dumped me on the show like he uh like some kind of crazy guy went off without <laughs> without any preparation i need some preparation h i just got just got poked in the butt <laughs> wasn't expecting it thank you vincent so what will I do for entertainment now? I guess I can go through my notes to see if I can't find something old or something new. But uh, I guess what me and Vinny's show today was about overall is how <laughs> how the state assumes your ignorance. And uh, I don't know. Maybe the Supreme Court crap that they pull on you is entertaining. <laughs> But they're trying to tell you now, after they've gone through all this SCOTUS rulings, the cops don't have to protect the citizen. So they're basically, they're working for the government to generate money by charging you with infractions to codes. And crime, like the report said about it from the beginning, they don't give a shit about murder. They want, they want that repetitious... Uh, citation fees and fines and then you got this the other thing <laughs> oh thanks Vinny. asset forfeiture <laughs> hey fucker <laughs> i'm just uh wasn't prepared to be uh 
left on here. <laughs> so, let me see if I can't find something else to read because my mind just went blank. Hey, pancakes! Ah, <laughs> Vinny the Flake. I don't know. Maybe it was one of his neighbors came by for a bag of Coke or something. <laughs> I mean, a bottle of Coke. <laughs> he probably drinks Mountain Dew anyway. But <clears throat> oh, let's do some old old rerun shit here on the dork table. Did you guys ever see the link? I'm going to try to open a link on YouTube right now. And I saw this link. It's been a while since I've seen it. But these guys got their self a bottle of Coca-Cola. I think they're down in Mexico way. And they found their self this old beat up car with a rusty shit. I mean, really rusty bumper. So I'm really stalling right now, hoping the damn thing will open so I could post it in the RLM. And not tell you what it's about before I get it posted, but you probably already know. Uh, let me see. Uh, if I type it right, it will bring me the right thing. With Coke. Ta-da. Let's see what it brings me. And here we go. And I found the, the, the link that I first saw, too. And what this is, is called... Uh, Coke, Coke, Cole. Oh, Why? He's talking. Stop talking. Ah, there he goes. Wait, I paused it. All right. What this is, is they're going to clean a rusty bumper <laughs> with a bottle of Coca-Cola. And as rusty as it is, if you haven't seen this before, you might never want to drink a Coke again. I know I had a hard time when uh, I was young. I used to work for this... Uh, this place that would let let me kind of pick the days I wanted to work. So they got a cut of the, the day's pay for finding me the jobs. Nasty flash. Hey, man. It, what? You didn't like my Coca-Cola rust started. removal? Oh. <laughs> what happened? Did you get attacked by aliens again? I got a tick on me. Did they probe you? Did it probe you? Uh, no. Uh, no. Didn't like that. Whoa. So you no, were, you no were... rusty bumper, sir. No. Yeah, Coca-Cola rust removal. Uh, see, that's what happens when you come in on a middle of a, a monologue there. Uh, so I do OD the uh, rusty bumper there. It's not good, sir. It's not good. Well, it's not about what you OD. It's about the link that goes with the Coca-Cola I mean, rust removal. Head never program. mind. Well, you know, I bet if we dipped a rag in Coke and rubbed it on your head, you'd be bald by the time I was finished. Hey, Grimmer called me a flake. For <sighs> Maybe I'll now. use some sandpaper too. Well, it was kind of weird. You just you start. <laughs> well, somebody come over, man, and uh, so yeah, I had to go out there for a minute in the. <laughs> Slap it's... him with you, Pecker. Why well, uh, went out my underwear? See, you weirdo. Why? Well, no big deal. I mean, look, it's like a bathing suit. What? Just because it has a flap hole on it? I don't know. I mean. I never even use a flap hole. Do you pee through the flap hole or you pee your pecker out over the top? See, well, we're going to get all personal about stuff yeah. I don't want to discuss on the radio. Inquiring minds I'm gonna, want to know. I'm going to let you answer that for yourself, mister, and refuse to answer on the grounds of I don't give a shit. Well, listen, let me tell you what the new big <laughs> thing here is, is uh, the vape pens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen them here, too. Yeah, it's like ninety-seven yeah. percent. What do you mean ninety? What THC? Wow. Yeah. Well, is that okay? And how does that rate on your weedometer? That's like the perfect delivery system, but the only drawback is the. Uh, um, I don't know. I think it's a little rougher. <laughs> cakes. <laughs> hey, uh, pancakes. Good cakes. Well, he hasn't drank a coke in over thirty years. Why do you think it is that uh, poisons like that taste so good and, and when you drink it, you got mmm? Because uh, they're in, hmm. Why would that be? Hmm. Good, good question. It's, why why do I right. think that? I think that because... Uh, they want to addict people to stuff, right? Well, right, but the, why are we designed it's that ridiculous. way? Ridiculous. Ridiculous, right. sir. But we're designed that way to react to certain shit a certain way. And even though it's bad for us, the damage it does, it won't happen for years and years of using the shit. But, hmm. 
What makes us attracted to the shit that's bad for us? I don't know. Well, my friend here up uh, down from uh, Missouri, she's uh, her youngest is she says is lactose intolerant, but uh, does okay with cheese, like eats cheese and yogurt. But yeah, uh, yeah. But he's he's a baby, and so she had to give him uh, soy milk. Yeah. I've tried to tell her about GMOs, all that stuff in there. Yeah. yeah. And I suggested like glyphosate. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's one of those moon unit cocktails. But yeah, she said, you know, that uh if you I think she said how long did she say? It might have been thirty days. Hmm. I I bet it'd be longer than that. Maybe it's three months. I don't know, but if you quit drinking milk for a certain amount of time and then you go back to uh try to drink it again, <laughs> your body rejecting it and i i went on to say that about the uh, y'all the blood and pus and in the milk in the dairy industry and uh grandma over there she oh that's not true she freaked her out oh, oh, oh stop i don't want to know the truth stop. about the dairy industry and she's like i know the dairy guys over here and, uh well uh, i said uh, i don't even believe there's even one dairy farm left here in Bambi county not sure how many is left in the state but the dairy industry was controlled and manipulated uh, they set the prices by the by on butter, mm. and that's how they used to mm. do the dairies. They'd come and they'd take the cream, the butter fat, and they'd take that old skim milk that people pay for in the grocery store now in that uh, uh, plastic jug. But they'd take that and dump it out and feed it to the hog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. But anyways, all that controlled and manipulates the market on on dairy industry, uh, and now most of your stuff, you know, out from California. And, Mexico, big, big, huge dairies, and they pile these cattle up, and then they got all these stalls and milk machines. You're getting all that uh, infection and uh, the, from from the udder. That yeah, it's pretty nasty stuff. So, but the best thing about that, and they can just probably like boil it and then uh, dehydrate it and uh, and ship it somewhere else and reconstitute it with water and put it in jugs and give it to you to drink. So it's not a wonder when you have allergies to the food you know they say uh gluten intolerant well as you know too it's the uh glyphosate in the that they used to harvest and treat the not only are they roundup ready huh. uh, but uh you know keep the weeds out while they're growing but then also you spray it and defoliate it, uh crops for better harvesting and hey what's the little glyphosate between friends uh no how Wash about down with some lactose free milk? Mr. Oh, no. How about if I didn't? You can tell everybody I did. Okay. But no, Last I don't want to do that. I don't like joining groups. Groups make my head hurt. <clears throat> oh, did I remember where I. Uh, did I, I don't know. You've been all over the place. You even vanished on the show while you. Then uh, yeah, I, I finally there. figured out some way to explain, you know, get through the show, and then you came back. So I have no idea what the hell is going on now. So you know what I'm doing? No. Notes for Grimner. Oh, goody. Do you know goody, why? Goody. Why? Because I'm a functioning member of RLM Society. Hey, did you see that I did earlier? I shared over there with the... Uh, the Mississippi squirrel, the day the squirrel went berserk. Well, there's this guy down in Alabama accused of feeding meth to the squirrel, <laughs> and he was arrested. <laughs> so, Mikey Polk, 35, was wanted for possession of an illegal firearm, possession of a controlled substance, and of drug paraphernalia. This is uh, yesterday. It's by, what's that name? Doha Madani. An Alabama man who authorities said kept a meth-fueled attack squirrel, oh my God, in his apartment, was arrested Thursday on multiple felony warrants unrelated to the squirrel. Narcotics investigators found uh, Mikey Polk, 35, while they were conducting a surveillance at a motel in uh, Killam, Killen, according to the Lines, Limestone County Sheriff's Office. Polk was arrested after he fled on a stolen motorcycle. <laughs> and rammed an investigator vehicle he was wanted for possession of all that they said there and on down i want to know more about this squirrel okay uh, investigators in athens uh, alabama 
searched Polk's home last week after getting a tip. The man was keeping a methamphetamine fueled uh, tax grill at the residence. <laughs> Narcotics investigators arrested one man and are are looking for another after they executed a search warrant money that yielded meth, drug paraphernalia, body armor, and a squirrel. The sheriff's office said on June 18th. Oh, Polk uploaded video on Facebook after uh, the raid from the apartment with the squirrel, and he had knowledge that the squirrel is aggressive and had bitten people, but denied that the rodent was trying to attack. <laughs> the public isn't in danger from the me messed out squirrel in the neighborhood, Polk said with a chuckle. He's not on meth, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Burn up, find out he's on meth anyway. So I, I, I don't think uh, he likes that shit. <laughs> Oh, there's more here. I will grab that once you throw that in there. That's funny. That's funny, Mister. I sent this to uh, to Grams. <laughs> in a did message. you? Yes, I did. So oh. she'll probably take that for uh, her next show. I think I, she's a squirrel uh, nut like me. Oh, uh, well, that explains everything. Easily distracted. You know what I can do? What? I can I can send uh, Grim the notes to the show already. All right, here, Grimner, take this and right here. Put that in there, too. The meth fuel. I already, I already squirrel. took care. Well, I didn't put the link in, but I put something verbal go. in. Well, I didn't oh. put the link in. Hold on. Well, ask Grim if you can add it, I guess. Hey, Grim, if you can I add it? it? Can you add it? If you want, I yeah. I, I mean, you. Yeah, because I already sent him the notes. Oh, they're well then, sir. <clears throat> Which, uh. Yeah, we're we've about done it. Yeah, we dork tabled all the way to the very end. We found yes, the I, end of the dork table. I officially dork today. I know. Um, I was so proud of you. Oh. I'm gonna name my next plant Vinny, even if it's a boy. That's fantastic. I like it very much. You're welcome. It's it's great. You gonna and say yes, good night to all the people and let them know what's coming I, up. I I will. Choco Chelly. Chocolate oh. Chuck Ocelli. Always fuck it up. Chuck. Yeah. All right. Well, he's at 8 o'clock five times a week right here at 8 p.m., right? Five nights a week. Real Liberty Media Channel. What channel is he on? Huh? 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 12 or 14? 14. 14. There we go. All mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I, I uh, Chuck's a good friend. We've worked together in radio for off and on for over the years. I take yeah. my glasses off so I can uh, see better. There we go. Uh, so the schedule is that, mm. well, well, this has been the dork table, and tomorrow is the big day right here at reallibertymedia.com, rlmradio.xyz, flagship day. Grimder comes along and plays some blues, and we got fast fingers and typing trivia right here in the chat room. If you want to come a little bit earlier and hear Grimder's great voice tuning up, for the playing music, because he talks like me, oh, but not like me. No. Yeah. Come at 15 minutes early. That's a oh, quarter to man. noon on the Eastern time for three hours, and we're going to play trivia. We're going to uh, listen to some blues, and there's a lot of ways you can listen. Just come on over. You'll figure it out. Uh -oh. Smart. Smart. Smart, Michael. Smart ah. like me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, hey. Three o'clock, Hal Anthony comes from behind the woodshed. That's noon o'clock out there on the left coast, on the eastern side of the seaboard of this here big old country where one day, yes, we will hope to have walls surrounding this great, great place. If we could only keep our great leader, the Donald. We love him. He's great. He's huge. Very special. Does great things. It's awesome. 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 We love the Donald. We love the Donald here. He's a, yes, very fantastic. Would you like to say anything about the Donald, sir? Quack, quack. That's great. That's perfect. All right. So, Hal and Anthony right here at uh, noon on the left coast. Some people might have a little hard time to understand what it is that's coming out of his mouth. But you got to listen, all right? So, sometimes it's not always nice to have to swallow the bitter truth. But it is good for you. So, come get you a taste of what we got. Coming from behind the woodshed with Hal Anthony. What happens uh, Monday uh, uh, here? Last you know, 
What? He's yum yum fun. 20... It's Grim left. Oh, Grim. That's right with Grim near right here. He is near and dear to our hearts, and he brings us some superbly supervicious drugs <laughs> to get into. It. Did that make sense to you? Yeah, but I'm trying to catch up on this uh, link thing, and you're trying to talk to me, and it oh, doesn't work. Eight it up. Seven o'clock. Uh. Eastern time in the uh, in the evening. Tuesday. Yeah, you're off. Spattered uh, <laughs> about at two o'clock on the Eastern time zone. <laughs> Sometimes all alone. I tried to wake up, but maybe I will next time. I don't know, but it is. Uh, uh, in a perfect world. I, I'm not sure how to add this to the other tech link, so I'm just, just making another one and and sending it on top of this, the first one. Grim, Grim's smart. He's smart, he's smart like Michael. I'm, yeah, okay. but I'm not. So I sent him two different links, if that makes any sense to him. I don't know. I don't know how to add it to the first one. Well, come on on and get it. Contrast the occupation in a perfect world at 8 a.m. in Denmark. Fun. Uh -huh. Wednesday, Grammy's back blasting off again and again in a rocket chair. Oh, wait a yes. Minute. Go, go, Grammy! 7 uh, p.m. And Chuck O'Chilly comes on right after her, you know, 8 o'clock. So, uh, boom, there you go. Thursday, you're back at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time for 20% uh, off. It's such a deal. Don't miss <laughs> out. Get it while you can, baby. Yeah. Friday is a, a ponder gander on pause. Uh, I might periodically come in, as I did this last week on the, the walkout by the Oregon Republican sen senators and uh, update on the Brundy Ranch and uh, uh, et al. Uh, case with the uh, this uh, SCOTUS ruling. Uh but anyways, I would be back and forth. And anyways, then again, anyways, 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 where was I? In a ponder gander, you no, know, periodically. <laughs> and <on> pause. <laughs> Grammy's back again, seven o'clock in a rocket chair. And Grimner Moose Girl has got the freakest ball going on, y'all. That's at uh, eleven o'clock, well, times Eastern, and come back the very next day and sit and have a sabbat with uh, the dork table. At uh, eleven, no, my twelve, time, which is, yeah, noon on the yeah. east coast. There, there you have it. Thanks That's a all, lot, all you things. crazy dorks. Bum, bum, bum. Thanks, Flash. Hey, thanks for coming to the dork table, man. I'll see you. Uh, maybe you'll pop in on Tuesday. You never know. You never know. All right, later, everybody.